was born here in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. At the moment, after we've just had this tremendous earthquake, it's not a very easy place to live, especially for a little girl. <laughs> Wadley is such a beautiful and magical and hopeful little girl. She was just wonderful to be around and I found her so compelling. She was just smiling under you know these very difficult circumstances. Wadley and her family were living in a tent camp for many weeks after the earthquake. They saw and experienced a lot of things including a very hostile environment. Because they had incidents of, of rape in that tent camp, it's a very precarious situation. In Haiti, something like 20% of a family's income would be spent sending a child to school. So very poor people, when they have to choose about which among their children to send to school, they will often send the male children to school. And that's where the girls uh, get left behind. And that's where I would say the whole society gets left behind. I found Wadley so full of joy. There was a spark in her that the earthquake hadn't destroyed, that living in that tent camp hadn't destroyed, that being out of school for a while hadn't taken away. And when I asked her, I said, what would you do if you couldn't go to school? She would say, you know, and that's part of the story came out of that. She said, I would just keep going. And she was young enough to be hopeful that she could overcome these obstacles. That's the beauty of little children, their optimism, their strength, and their ability to dream. And to me, that embodied so much of the future of Haiti. She is the future of Haiti. 